Hello, how do? How are you? I hope you're all well out there on this lovely Friday night for me now, because it's quite dark, because now we are in September. Wow, where has the year gone? Um, yeah, I was a bit stuck about what to play today, honestly. Um, right until just now, I was I was l loading up Dead by Daylight, and I thought, you know what, I don't really fancy playing Dead by Daylight, I just want something chilled, relaxed. And then I thought, you know, FTL, I guess, FTL, it's nice, you can dip in, dip out, and have fun. And that's what I kind of want to do with the Friday night. Don't know how long I'm going to be on tonight. Uh, I am a bit late, so apologies for that. Um, chores sadly got in the way. But let's get straight away with the old things, stuff and things right now. Am I dropping frames? I might be dropping frames, I don't know why. Maybe my wife is watching something or listening to something on the internet upstairs, which is a possibility. Um, but anyway, she can do that. She can do that. Um, let's get playing some games. Let's get playing some games. Let's play FTL. Uh, oh, who are we even going to use today? I've not even thought about this, you know. Um, PayPal UK. Let's rename. Um, <coughs> Right, what can we use that is mildly funny today? Um, how about something? That's that's perfect. Lister. Okay, got to be careful of that. Except you are. Rimmer. We're going to put the four names in. Let's put the full names in, shall we? Dave Lister, Arnold Rimmer, the cat. Uh, let's change you. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, Rimmer, Lister, let's customize you as well. You don't really have a lot of customization options here, so I'm going to give you short hair. You'll have to imagine the mullet. Uh, Rimmer, Rimmer. Yeah, okay, let's just leave that. Uh, Artemis missiles, yeah, burst laser, yeah, we'll we'll do that. Uh, we'll just save the advanced edition just right now. The uh, Kestrel? That's not Kestrel. It's not Kestrel, is it? No, it's not. Starbug. That's what it is. Let's do a Red Dwarf run. A Red Dwarf run. Red Dwarf run. Red Dwarf run. Okay. Jonathan Ross going on there. Okay, let's go, go, go. And let's start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip weapon order. Rearrange a weapon or drone schematic by dragging it into the desired position. The leftmost slot will be the last to power down if the system is damaged. Okay, so if you've never played FTL, um, why not? Because it's been like 10 years since it's been released, and it's a very good game. Um, essentially, you've got to jump um, between systems, getting weapons and, and everything for the big final boss which is a massive boss the federation boss which has like three different stages to it and you've just got to make sure that you can survive but before we can get there um yeah this is the map so this is just sector one there's several different sectors that you can choose from but we can go through each and every single one of those but right now we need to assign people um with 
they are going. So who are you? Rimmer. Rimmer in the engine room. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, when you have people actually on the their sectors, if you remember it, they're in their their speciality, shall we say? They will actually train up in that, and they'll make those systems perform better the longer that they are there. So essentially, when we get when Rimba becomes more used to the when the engines, then he can he'll be able to power up an extra engine bay, engine slot, um, things things like that. Um, excuse me, one second. I hope you didn't hear me cough my lungs out then, although it looks like you might have done, so apologies. I don't know if my mute button worked. But yes, I have another cold, so yay. Um, nothing really for us to note right here, so I think we're just going to jump. Everyone's in desired places right now. So let's just jump into the next one. Let's go there. Okay, we have 10 scrap at the minute. Here we go, we are straight in with a, obviously you get random, low, random, random fights. I forget what the term is in, what is it? I want to say random area location, I can't remember. I, my mind is not with it. Um, like in Final Fantasy, you get random, uh, when you go into a certain place, you get random fights, that kind of thing. Um, normally pirate ships or drones, and this is a pirate ship, and especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Uh, we can draw straws, which, let's face it, Rimbus probably suggested that one. Draw straws and send a crew member over to the slavers. Send the cat over. We will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Well, uh, we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. That was a terrible list, wasn't it? I'm not going to do that again, don't worry. Uh, okay, uh, this is real time by the way, so I need to pause it. Um, because I've just realised we've not got any weapons uh, powered up. And we should have done. But there we go, at least now I know. Right, first as soon as we've got those on, where are we going to hit? Let's hit the shields with a missile. Uh, Let's, no, let's just hit the shields with the lasers and let's hit the engines with a the missile. There's a little bit of delay because silly me didn't charge. Oh, they've got some nice weapons there. They've not taken damage there. Oh, and they missed with the old missile. Oh, come on. Why am I not powered up? Did I take damage already to the weapons? I did, didn't I? Pause. Okay. Let's get that. Again then. Just try to keep on hitting that. Good. That was a good hit. Let's keep on going that. Um, take out the engines. Good. Engines are down. We can power up the lasers again now. Two. Good for that. One is ready. Again, good. We surrender. Take one of our slaves. Distribute. If you destroy, they will die anyway. Uh, yeah, let's keep him, shall we? Raffin, welcome aboard. We didn't get the scrap, but that's fine. There'll be plenty of chances. Uh, Raffin, what are you, and who are you? I need you, probably in shield room actually. Oh, oh wow, okay. They didn't make it. I did too much damage to them. Uh, you can normally, oh, maybe it's in this screen. Yeah, this screen, you can tell who they are. Uh, is an NG. It's unclear if the NG are partly organic or entirely mechanical, but it's well known that they are exceptional engineers. Oh, okay. Combat damage inflicted is hard, repair speed is doubled. I might change then, I might change things up here. Let's change things up because I want 
Rimmer, you come to the shields off and go here. I think the NG actually do power one, don't they? I might be wrong in that respect. But that's fine, because then at least he can also heal, uh, work, repair heal, repair the O2 if that goes out. Um, let's jump, because we've done what we can do in this sector. We only have a limited amount of time as well, because pretty soon they'll start to track us down. Battle Sargrat Castile. The Federation, I mean. Uh, a pipe ship was lying in wait inside the astral field if we can use into attack. Turn and fight. Pause. Uh, we want to get a missile into the shields and burst laser into their O2. Let's buff them up a bit, shall we? I oh, see that's the thing. Because we're in. Oof. Excuse me. This is another reason why I don't know how long I'm going to be on tonight because I keep on coughing like good. Right, so a couple of things that I didn't explain before. We can actually escape if the situation's too hairy, but we have to wait for the FTL to charge, and obviously we have to make sure that the engines have power. Um, because we're in an asteroid field, obviously we've got asteroids colliding against our shields, which are removing the shields. But it's also removing their shields as well. Uh, looks like we took some damage to the weapons. That's fine. Because they are... They're not doing well because we've got someone in our shields. Yeah, their engines are down as well now. That's not good at all. Let's just wait for those shields. Oh, that was a bad one. Let's go. It is right click, isn't it? I'm just being a knob. Yeah. You will automatically fix that, as you can see, and the ship exposed even hides a substantial collection of useful scrap material. So we've got missile. Which is good because we're running out of missiles. I did forget it, but we only have a limited amount. Um, scrap, and we've got droid parts. Continue. And let's just finish off that. We need to... O2 is back up and running, so let's get you back into the engines. We can jump. Let's jump. Oh, we've got a distress signal. Let's go to the distress signal. But that's a bug. We've only got two missiles. I did forget about that. Oh, uh, okay. You located in a new, nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virulently. Where an unknown disease has spread virulently. Vi virulently. Virulently. I think I said that correctly. Virulently. They are, it's a virus. Um, they are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Uh, send the energy to calm down the infected. Because that looks like it's a special unlockable. With no fear of catching the disease, your energy crew member helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Come by its extensive knowledge of human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. Continue. Well, in that case, as he seemed like such a good chap, there's only thing, one thing we can do right here, and that is rename him. To Crichton. As he sounds like an excellent person. And very good at calming people down. Okay. Now we can jump again. Ah, here we go. These are the Federation. Or rather, the Rebels. So we need to go. Let's go up, shall we? I think that's something special. Oh. Pursuit level with disrupt sensors. Let's go down. It's been a while since I played this game. It's a game. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the Rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you. Or else it is trying to avoid no notice. Uh, hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a slug ship jumps into the system. It was hunting the refugee ship for sport, and now they found you instead. Okay, let's pause. Uh, we, we've some powder, powder burst laser again. I think I'm going to have to drag it around like that. Just because we've got four missiles at least. <coughs> We're going to need a couple. Hmm. 
straight off the bat. Uh, let's go for the weapon on this one. And then as soon as he comes in to play, we will do that. Okay, missiles away, and it was a miss. But I was able to use some stuff. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, what caused that 75%? That's fine. That's fine, because we'll visit shops soon. And we'll get stuff sorted. I don't want to, want to use another Artemis, honestly. Let's continue that line of thinking. Blazers were ready, and the shields are down. Let's carry on now. The O2 is down, so they need to fix it. Whoa, we've got fires, we've got everything. Okay, uh, you, right and go to there. I am actually going to open up the doors to put the fire out. And we'll fix the med bay in a second. Yeah, I need to just do that. Keep on aiming at them. Good, weapons are up to my battering there. The O2 is still down, so maybe they are not dependent on O2. Let's shut those doors now and get get Crichton back in. Okay, their shields are back up, despite it being partially broken. That's good. Very good. And we get some stuff. Contact the refugee ship. Refugee ship calms, claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatched the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. Oh, look, some fuel. Because every time we jump, we can only jump the amount of times that we have fuel for. So we can, we've got 13 jumps. But there are shops away, along the way where you can get replenishments, get more fuel, get more missiles, and get uh, your full repair, things like that. Okay, before we do anything then, remember, fix the med bay, please. Okay, cool. And we're good to go yet. Come on, Rime. Yep, we're good. Let's jump. Uh, we could go to the exit now. But we've still got a bit of time before the rebels come after, so I think I'm going to take a little bit of a detour. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yes, why not? Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A, freight, a freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Okay, we'll accept it. See if we can actually complete it in the time that we have. At least you're confident for what little that's worth. At least you're confident for what little that's worth. Here is their last known location. And we've got a question mark. Excuse me for this. Oh, lovely coughs. Okay, we're all good. Oh, I've just noticed Cat and Crichton, are they, they're a little bit damaged there. We're okay though for now, let's carry on. Okay, so we kind of need to jump to the quest and then jump back. I don't think we'll be able to do it any other way. Unless we backtrack, and I don't like backtracking. So let's go to the exit first. You've ride a long range beacon. When the FTL drive drivers charge, you can jump to the next sector. Your sensor picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of them fleeing. Let's hail them as well. And we've got another one. Okay, a Zoltan ship. Zoltan? Suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. Before you can respond, it cuts communications and powers up its weapons. Right. Um, let's get shields down. Oh, they've actually got quite some nice shields there. Let's stick a missile in as well, shall we? Let's see how we get on here. Here we go. 
doing a bit of a pounding on a hole, actually. Okay. Let's keep on going. Ugh, that wasn't a good one. Good. Shields are down. They're taking. Let's just keep on with the shields, though. Oh, we've actually unpowered that for some reason. Good. Go there and go there. Let's cripple them if we can. Damn, that was a bad miss. Good, good, the O2, wow. Whoa, okay. Zoltan ship breaks apart and you salvage what you can. We've got a small bomb, nice. Uh, 19 scrap, 1 droid, and 1 fuel. Contact the refugee ship and the refugee thanks us with 1 fuel, 1 droid, and 7 scrap. Super. Now we're all good. I'm... Um, as soon as... Yeah, you're at 40. That's actually quite bad. Crichton, go to Medbay. I said Crichton, go to Medbay. Cat, go to Medbay as well. Luckily you can have four people in. Okay, go back. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Because I forgot to press the buttons. Right and go here. Rimba go here. Cat go here. And let's push this button now so it'll be easier when I do it next time. Let's also shut that door in case we get intruders. I don't want to make it. Oh, it's a smart bomb. Very nice. We don't really have the power for that as well at the minute, though. We've got one missile though so that might come in handy for us let's jump we're not gonna go to the next sector we are gonna go to the quest first you arrive at the last known location of the merchants delivery you begin to scan for the lost ship after a quick scan you find a ship being chased by a pirate this must be the missing delivery ship you move in to rescue them okay let's pause uh, burst laser. Shields are simple. I feel like I'm about to seize. Sorry. Shields are simple, so let's just see if that does anything. Oh, that was good work. Good damage. Uh, right, and you need to repair the O2. The doors are gone as well. We are out, so I might just power. I don't have any missiles for the smart bomb, even. Okay, fine, let's just keep on going with the lasers. They are trying to fix things here. Wow, she was a critical. Good, that was solid. Solid hits in the shields. Okay, Crichton's repaired that. Get back to the engine room. We can repair that in a second. Good. Oh, okay. You contact the delivery ship who are grateful for your assistance. They offer you a reward for saving them. Very good. Right, now before we do anything here, work on those. Because I don't think I can't I can't open the doors whilst the door controls aren't working. Get a rim on the case as well, there because if we don't get those fires put out, good. Okay, so the doors are open. Let's flood. Remove all the oxygen. They can repair in a second. In the meantime, let's just open that door a little bit to, so that Crichton can get in. And we're good. Shut the main doors. And do the same thing. We'll get you two to fix this time. <coughs> Crichton, you need to be healed, so let's get you there. And once we're all good. 
go back. Super duper. And that is how we play the game. We do have two missiles, I might just pound the smart bomb. Ignore shields, yes, that's actually quite clever. I should have used that rather than the Artemis, but there we go. Um, let's jump, let's see where they are. We desperately need a store. There we go. Ship engineers set up a small shop here, continue, good. Uh, we need to fix all of our stuff first. Good. Now, ooh, what do we do here? Drones. We could do drones. Or we could sell them. Let's get some missiles. Fireball. Same with fuel. Um, crew teleporter. Drone control. With free combat drone mark one. Yeah. I suppose that's not too bad to get the drones going. We do have eight anyway. Actually, I can't afford it, so it's it's mute. Sorry, John and Butters. Oh, it's John. He's Zoltan. He's the one who can power the systems. Yeah, I didn't know that. I did know that. I forgot, is what I meant. Uh, we can't afford anything here, so I think we're done anyway, so we can't even. We need to get some power bars. Uh, another time. Hmm. Okay, let's just jump. Let's jump out of here. There is another distress signal. But by the time we jump there and the exit will be tricky, so let's just go there, we're going to leave the distress. Your jump leads you to nothing but empty space. This jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connection. Very good. We're all good anyway here, so let's carry on. Okay. Where are we at? We're at the end, so let's go to the next sector. Oh, just as they're coming. Okay, so here's the sector map. So this is obviously the end game. Uh, we've got two, we've got Mantis, we've got what controlled. They're both hostile, so let's go Mantis, shall we? May as well. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's go here, shall we? May as well. We'll take a bit of a dog leg, go across and then up. You recognise the outline of a Mantis ships of a Mantis ship against the blackness. Engage. Okay. Let's get that going straight away. Let's take out the shields with that and with the smart bomb. Let's take out the weapons. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Takes a bit of time. Good work. Ooh, okay. I decided just to do that, so let's put that to make sure the fire doesn't spread. The smart bomb didn't seem to work there, so let's try again. And again, with engines this time, shall we? Good, engines are down. Oh, that worked a treat! The smart bomb worked a treat that time. Uh, first laser to do that. I'm not going to use another one. I'm going to shut the gate, the doors though. It looks like the fire's been put out. Okay. Mm. Good. Keep on going with the shields. They've only got three hull damage left, so the burst laser should be able to sort this all out. Yeah. Jobs are good. 
And we get three fuel, one drone, and 20 scrap, which I'm tempted to see if we can get another power bar. Uh, do I want to do it there, or do I want to do... I'm going to do the engines right now. We don't necessarily need the Artemis powered. Yeah. Leave it at that for now, I think. Because I think the engines will help us for extra evasion. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's carry on. Let's carry on our wayward son. Ooh, your world all of a sudden changes. The Mantis are on board your ship. Intruders on board. Continue and pause. Okay. Um, shit's going to get real here. Crichton can go here. I'm actually going to open the doors to see if I can actually just take them out. Oh. Typical. Okay. Crichton, go here. Straight away. Okay, pause. Get out of there. Get to healing. Pause and open that door. Good. We'll let gravity do the trick. Oh, they were able to walk straight through. But that's fine because they're fighting us in the med bay where we will automatically heal. You know what? It feels like we need... Reinforcements here. Yes, sir, you join in. Oh, you can't join in. Good. Look at that, Rimmer. Uh, before we return, let's just shut everything up, shall we? Shut all doors. No, 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 no. Close all doors, close all doors. <laughs> Are we all okay? We just had a bit of a scare, but we're all fine now. Yeah, cat needs to just repair a bit of damage before we can move on. But look at that, the stats are coming up for everyone. Let's get that charged and ready. Let's jump. Let's go down before we go up. More intruders on board. You find you arrive to find yourself extremely close to a star. You receive a message from a pirate ship. I'm glad you arrived. Our ship is damaged and we were getting desperate. I hope you don't mind if we take yours. Uh, I do mind actually, now that you come to mention it. Everyone, go here. Fighting as well. Fight in the med bay, I love it. One's gone, and that's another one. Jolly good, jolly good. I like it. Ooh. Okay, jump. Let's get out before that happens. Oh, another one. Who knows why the mountains would venture so close to a sun? Perhaps it makes for more of a challenge. Oh no, okay. Uh, so we've got more solar flares, and that will light the ship on fire. Shields will reduce the effect, but because we're fighting, shields might get down. So, let's make sure their shields are down first, eh? Oh, they've got teleporters. Yep, they're beaming over. Where are you beaming over to? The doors. open them then before we do anything. Pause. Shut. Hmm. Good. 
their weapons are down. Rem I'm going to leave it to you here. Just because I think everyone else needs to actually work here. Um, take out the teleporter. Because we can't have reinforcements. Let me go here. Rim, pause. Rim, go to Med Bay. Go flood. Um, weapons again. Oh, why is he walking through our ship, man? Is still a tech detected, which is fine. It's not fine. Excellent. Have we got more? I need to take out that one, so quite you may as well. Oh, did he just die? He just died. That's quite funny. Uh, Go here for now. We may go back here or side deal with this fire. And they've gone. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Very good. Let's just make sure we can close now. Good. For a second there, I thought the O2 would get damaged, but no, we are good. Okay, yeah, no, right. Get healed. I needed to do some oxygen for you first. Okay, fine, we'll jump. You got a distress signal there, let's go to the distress signal. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Why is it always spiders? Send the crew to help get giant alien spiders are no joke. Yeah, go on then. No! Your crew boards a station. Cautiously moving between corridors, suddenly a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by, a count by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everyone made it back. Crichton is gone. Well, let's hope there's a Mark II out there. So we're back to the Core 3 then. Oh, that's not good. And I didn't get anything for uh, the efforts there. Let's go up. And we've got asteroids. You arrive in an asteroid vector's belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here. Prepare for a fight. Oh, when he cloaks. So I can't target him when he cloaks, which is fun. He is taking damage though. Pause. Um, let's get the engines going. Oh, good. Asteroid damage straight to the coking device. That's exactly what I wanted to do take out the engines so that he can't. He can't maneuver as much. I'm going to have to leave you on the shield because I'm going to need it. And yep, they've got. Oh, are you on fire? Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Yes, but I think you're on fire, aren't you? Yeah, 
Yeah, you're definitely on fire. And I can't repair shields easily. Okay, the fire's out. Let's shut that. We'll leave that to flood some oxygen in. Um, Rimmer, looks like you're the one to fix now then. scraps that's not too bad the rebels are already here the crew braces for impact but none comes the sensors report the unmanned rebel supply ship is malfunctioning and is stuck in vending mode for a little scrap you can take your pick for the missile please and all the fuel for the answer. Uh, hmm, fix all for four yeah that's fine Damn, we don't have enough for the sensors, which is would be nice. Scrap recovery as well. Ooh, that is nice. Tempted for nineteen. Well, I couldn't get anything anywhere for that, could I? And they've only got drones, no crew. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe they'll be back. Let's jump up first before... Before we need to get out. Uh, you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It doesn't seem... It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure the cargo by force. Okay. They look like they won't... They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. Pause. Okay. Pause. No, no, no. Pause. First laser. Engines. I might even get a bomb over there just to take out the engines. Right. They're charging their FTL. We just need to make sure that we can fire, please. Whenever you're ready. Good. Whoa. Oxygen's gone. Cat, you are going to have to go. Uh, let's take out their drone control, shall we? And the weapons. Oh, they've took out sensors as well now. Oh, man. Good. Uh, let's take out their O2 as well, then. Okay, pause. Go back. Good. Keep on with the engines to, just to make sure. But it looks like they're going to be destroyed soon anyway. And we're going to fix the other bits in a second. Looks like they're trying to fix things. They need to fix the road too, if you ask me. Oh, their weapons are back. Yep, too late. The ship was apparently transporting weaponry, however, nothing seems to have survived the battle. Ah, that's a shame. Uh, Rimmer, go here. Can't go here. And I think... It's such a shame we lost Crichton, because that, that extra crewman was really really helpful okay let's jump it's a shame there's not another star nearby but there we go I think we will jump out into the next sector you've arrived at the long range beacon where the auto drive is charged you can jump to the next sector you arrive at the beacon located in a civilian star system a nearby colony contacts you we've got a rogue rebel ship harassing the system do you have time to find it uh, 
you're looking for the rebel ship, you spend some time looking around, but your scanners cannot pick up any trace of the rebel ship. You prepare to move on. I wonder if it's the one we just took out. Yep, let's just go. Nebula or civilian? Let's go civilian. Let's try and give ourselves a little bit of a nice time. Welcome to a new sector. Get to this exit beacon and jump to the next sector before pursuing rebels catch you. Standard. There's no point going to a store just yet. Uh, looks like we'd have to take... That's very dangerous to do that way. Let's go here. It's, mm, I suppose it doesn't much matter, does it? Either way, yes. I suppose bottom is going to get to the store sooner. If I want to back on myself, backtrack. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. Demanded surrender. Yes, we'll do this all again. Uh, engines, please. Intruders on board. So let's take out some air. Oh, cheeky. I'll take out your oxygen. Oh, we got a face full of a smart bomb right there. Get him off. Cat. Okay, cat. Go. Cat, you're going to have to move. Sadly. Oh, they've taken control of the doors out. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's take out their O2. You're healthy enough, cat. Go back. Oh, we beamed him away. Okay, fine. Okay, cat, you need to repair. Oh, engine to critical. Okay, we're gonna have to do a smart bomb here. Um, to their shields. Let's keep on with the pressure here. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. And he's back. Oh, looks like they actually took him out themselves. That's fine. Um... Oh no, no, I actually did that. That's fine. So, if I'm in control of the doors, let's get these doors open. Because he shouldn't be able to barge through now, should he? He's going to take out more weapons, though. I'm going to take out his as well. Yeah, he's 
dying, so that's fine. Cool. Let's close all doors. Let's get some oxygen back into that room. Shields are very effective. Oh no, he's about to jump again. Oh, we jumped. Damn. Well, that's not good. When we get fixing that. Can't you get fixing the engines? Damn! That was a tricky one. It didn't help the fact that he had masses of shields there. And it's a shame I can't do that either. I might actually buy another power bar just to put it to the doors. Oh, can I not do that? Oh no, I need 35 scrap. Damn it it's all to hell. That's the other option. Doing automatic pilots. Oh, I can undo that though, can't I? Undo that, yeah. And I think I'll do that. Oh no, I don't want the enemies. I don't want that. I want... Oh, I want something I can't have. I'm going to do the autopilot so that I think I'm going to put, yeah, do that, because I think I'm going to take this to, to engineering. It's everywhere fixed, everywhere's fixed, let's go back, let's get healing, let's close all the doors while we're at it. to our stations but what I'm actually going to do oh do I need I do need him there to jump yeah okay fine fair enough that's a bit shit oh look at our hull we'll go to the store now because we need just to get a little bit of something right now and that's all we can do. Ooh, a breach bomb. There's more damage systems and crew. Never damage hull but can be effective at disrupting crew and systems. Mm -hmm. We've got cloaking as well. Why is it always the case that they've got really good stuff when you just don't have the scrap? We're going to have to jump away. And hopefully see... Oh, okay, we've got something here. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Let's in intervene to defend the outpost. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Whoa, okay, he's got loads of weapons there. Let's take out. Let's take out shields because you. Ooh, actually, no, let's go to weapon. No engines with that because I'm actually going to take out the shields with the smart bomb. Let's see how this goes. Good. Oh, splendid. 
quite a fair bit of damage there, so let's do that again. This time with the weapons. Let's pause. Oh, did that just in time. These are not to be messed with, are they? We just have to use our, our laser now. Wow, look at that. Game over. And you know what? That's not bad timing, quite frankly. That wasn't a good one. That was quite a difficult one. I've had better. A lot better. Um, one last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Yeah, you see? Now that Liberator. Oh, but they were advanced when I played those ones. But there we go. There we go. It doesn't look like the Red, Cor the Red Dwarf crew actually made it into any top scores or anything. No, they do not. So I think we're going to call it there because for the Red Dwarf crew <coughs> and the crew of the Starbug. It's, all, it's cold outside, there's no kind of atmosphere. They're all alone. No, I need to stop now, otherwise I'm going to sing the song. And I can't sing the song because otherwise we're going to get copyright flagged and all kinds of bad stuff's going to happen. So, here, a mess, isn't it? I need to stop putting stuff in it now. Acceptable. Anyway, enough about that. I hope you've enjoyed that. That's about an hour, actually. That's not too bad for me. I'm a bit dodgy right now, so I think I'm going to cut it short for Friday. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a different thing, going back to FTL. Um, something a little bit nice, and yet still in keeping with my sense of play and all that. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you on the next one. Weekend, I tend to take off. I might go on Sunday, as I always say, because I want to do that whole upkeep stream. Uh, but I think I might have to do that on Wednesday, I think, um, honestly. So, I might, you might see me next on Monday, hopefully, for some more XCOM. And we'll see what happens there, because Ivy Tilsley last night was a bit of a badass. Um, I'm still thinking about that this morning, how much of a badass she was, shooting that tank right in the face as it charged to her. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff, good stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. Have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your Friday. And I'll see you next week for Monday. But enjoy the weekend before that comes. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves and each other. Good night.